The vision of Teaching Choling Singapore is connecting all with divine hearts. Founded in 2001 by spiritual director Lama Tukten Namjo Doje, Teaching Choling's following has grown quickly from a handful of students to over 200 regulars today and thousands more supporters. Many disciples are young professionals and executives under the age of 40, with the energy and many ideas to further the vision of Teaching Choling, that is, to connect all with divine hearts. Recognized by Lama Zopa Rinpoche and Choge Trichin Rinpoche as a reincarnate Lama, Lama Doji teaches in a non-traditional style, easily understood and appreciated by listeners. His kindness in showing the Buddha's middle path has led many to have experienced personal miracles. Some faithful devotees have been known to have recovered from ailments including skin diseases, cancer and eye problems. Other disciples on holy pilgrimages with the Lama have witnessed rainbows encircling the sun while outside Guru Rinpoche's cave. And snowfalls in high summer at Dagri Rinpoche's Gari Gompa in Lhasa and on Mount Wutai after an incense puja. In May 2007, Teaching Choling moved from rented premises in Upper Bukit Timah to the current premises at Number 2 BT Lane. The temple building at BT Lane was purchased for $1.95 million with a bank loan. This 5,000 square foot freehold land is officially gazetted as a place of worship, which is something hard to come by in Singapore. For teaching children, this allows flexibility to conduct religious practices to benefit all, as well as a place to call home. The temple now houses various unique holy objects. On the main altar are Singapore's only life-sized rupas of Guru Rinpoche and Green Tara, together with Mik Chen Rizik, which is a unique form of Chen Rizik known to cure eye ailments. Besides a jeweled stupa dedicated to Geshi Lama Konchok's quick rebirth, there is a hand-woven white Mahakala palace made by the craftsmen of His Holiness, the 14th Dalai Lama. In addition, a giant money wheel containing over 200 million mantras is set to help anyone accumulate lots of merit. Devotees can also view, around the clock, the personal relic collection of Lama Doje, comprising relics of Shakyamuni Buddha, Ananda, the 3rd and 16th Kamapas, his root guru, Geshi Lama Koncho, amongst many other holy relics. On Visak Day, Devotees can look forward to the temple's display of Southeast Asia's largest and most awe-inspiring tanka of Shakyamuni Buddha, measuring 13 by 9 meters. Very quickly, members have settled into the new location and many curious bypassers have become devotees and volunteers. At Teaching Choling, 
Lama Dorje continues to conduct Dharma lessons in English and Mandarin, as well as lead in various pujas or prayers, such as Guru Puja and Tara Puja, and Sutra chanting in Mandarin. For beginners, the temple also offers an introduction to Buddhism class. Annual signature events such as Chinese New Year, Visak Day, Ulambana Festival and the Healing Festival continue to be celebrated. Despite the lack of funds and the dire need for structural repairs to the roof of the temple building, Teqing Choling continues to put forth many initiatives to benefit others and to support these initiatives with funds in priority to other needs. In July 2007, Teqing Choling became Singapore's first Tibetan Buddhist temple to operate 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Devotees who are shift workers or late-night taxi drivers can now visit the temple at any time to their convenience. The temple also provides them with a spiritual haven, whether for some quiet meditation or for them to develop spirituality. Twice weekly, the temple also offers free consultations to the public on traditional Chinese medicine through volunteer TCM specialists. Members and volunteers at Teqing Chomin also come together to offer free Reiki healing sessions to the public on a weekly basis. Reiki is a complementary therapy for the treatment of physical, emotional and mental distress. This alternative healing has been well received by the public and has brought much relief to patients. More people are also stepping forward to learn these techniques to help others as well. To mark the first and 15 lunar days of each month, the temple also offers free vegetarian meals to the community. This meal service has been well received by the elderly folks living in the vicinity of the temple. In addition, the temple offers a simple meal every night to shift workers who frequent the temple in the early hours of the day. The temple's social outreach arm that started in November 2006 has also been busy in its efforts to fulfill its aim to spread love and compassion to all. In 2007, Divine Hearts launched Project Maud, an initiative to reach out to the households at Maud Road, which consists of mainly low-income families. Goodie bags containing packets of rice, salt, cooking oil, biscuits and other daily necessities are distributed to a thousand people in 300 families on a quarterly basis during Chinese New Year Visak Day, Mid-Autumn Festival and Winter Solstice, spreading festive joy. Divine Hearts is also active in engaging the aged, having organised a New Year's Day party for the elderly folk living in one-room flats in Henderson Estate, and engaging young people with Sports Day for youth every week and children's leadership camps during school holidays. At our fundraising dinner in 2007, Teqing Choling sought your kind support for the temple to introduce its community programs. We are pleased to report that with your generous support, Teqing Choling has, as promised, quickly launched a string of community initiatives in the short span of a year. These are just some of the many new projects and initiatives that Teqing Choling has rolled out in the short span of a year. In the long term, the temple has plans to further Dharma education by making available more free distribution Dharma texts, expanding the Dharma hall to meet the increasing numbers of students, as well as to introduce retreat rooms and provide more space to ordain resident Sangha. In the next two years, we aim to raise $1.5 million to pay off the bank loan for the current temple land. The annual interest on the bank loan amounts to around $70,000. By paying off this loan, the temple will be able to channel financial resources intended for interest payments towards the benefit of the spiritual community and to further the temple's vision of providing community service. 
Since moving to BT Link, Teaching Choling has introduced many community outreach initiatives. We hope to step up our efforts and increase the reach of these activities as well as launch new activities. Children and youth are the pillars of tomorrow's society and it is important that they receive proper guidance and support to help them grow up to become responsible adults. In the coming months, the temple will be launching free tuition classes for children living in the low-income families in the temple's vicinity and new Buddhist classes for children so that they will understand and appreciate the teachings of the Buddha. Teaching Choling also hopes to support children from low-income families with education bursaries to enable them to pursue education and to secure a bright future. Teaching Choling has been able to come this far only with your generous help. We aim to raise these funds with your support and generosity, and we aim to roll out more initiatives to benefit others in the community. We humbly request your support to help us quickly realize our vision to connect all with Divine Hearts. <laughs>